And would you welcome his opponent into the blue corner? For representing Team Q, David Sarr! So, K1 over three, three minute rounds of action. Mo Carbo, Revolution Academy versus David Saar, Team Q. And Mo Carbo, I've watched over the years, right from the early kickboxing days when he was starting out. And he starts with a front push kick against Saar, the taller man of the two. And they exchange low kicks, big right hand attempt from Carbo. And the leg kick as he goes to throw the right hand from Saar, whose expression doesn't change. Saar decidedly taller, looks to take the leg of Cargo, but Cargo throws him away, almost literally. Then the front push kick again to the midsection, ducks under the right hand from Saar. And they go once more, the right hand over the top from Cargo, and they switch low kicks. Oh, big right and left from Cargo. Right and left hands, just like in the old days. And Saar looks up, shakes his head, he gets up, he turns, he says he's okay. But it was the right hand over the top, followed by the left from Mo Kargbo. And he'll look to finish it this opening round. And they tie up. And Kargbo looking to get inside again with those heavy hands. Saar obviously looking to regroup and keep him away. Cargbo just needs to keep cool and pick his shots like he did to, to get the knockdown. Saar still shaking his head. Uppercut attempt from Cargbo misses. Front push kick caught and taken down by Saar. Away they go once more. Low kick misses from Saar. And again, Cargbo just out of range. Cargbo front push kick towards the face of Saar. I still think it's unsettled from that knockdown. Low kick from Cargbo. Then the right hand catches the leg of Saar. And the way they go again. Cargbo just skips out of the way of the high point kick from Saar. Side kick doubled up from Cargbo. Front push kick from Saar. And Cargbo ducking and diving away from the shots of Saar. 
push kick to keep his man away. And Saar gets to the end of the round, but it's a big round for Mo Kangpo with the knockdown. So the second of three, three minute rounds, K1 rules, can't blow a big opening round. Let's just see how much David Saar has recovered from that knockdown. The right hand comes through the channel again from Kangbo. And that cheap kick to the midsection working for him as he did in the first. Caught this time and taken down strongly by Saar. Chopping kick attempt by Saar. Misses again just out of range with the low kick. This time it lands to the lead leg. Cheap kick from Kargbo. Caught again but this time he traps the leg. And away they go again. And again Saar misses with that low kick. Lead leg might be better for him. And again, Saar goes for the rear leg with that big kick. Start off the front leg because there's the danger for you. The heavy-handed counters from Kargbo. Body and head, then a low kick from Saar. Saar misses with the reply and you can see the frustration on his face and they go again there's the right hand from Kargbo and looking to use the body now and again Saar kicks as Kargbo comes in got to be careful with that cheap kick because Saar is catching it Good low kick this time from Saar, doubles it up, catches the teep again but misses with the replying low kick. Better round for Saar here in the second but it's still very even with a big first round to Mo Kargbo. Nice left hand from Kargbo. And Saar's being counted. It looks like he's out. No. No, he says he's okay, but he's shook, shaking his head. And away they go again. So it's the second time Saar's got a count. So that means Kargbo's got each of the first rounds convincingly. Kargbo just misses with the right and again in each of the first two rounds Kargbo's got a count so they're big big rounds for him Saar needs a knockout no two ways about it So third and final round, Cargbo two big counts in each of the first two rounds, so he's well in control of this fight, it's how far he wants to go now, whether he wants to finish it or just be happy with the result. Oh. 
so David Sarr shows his frustration there by kicking Mo Carpo while he's on the deck. The first kick was legitimate, the second one was illegal while he was on the deck. And I think it's sheer frustration. And away they go once more. The difference between the two fighters has been the heavy hands of Mo Kagbo. David Sarr has been reluctant to get involved in a boxing match with Kagbo because of the power he's displayed in those hands in their exchanges. Nice low kick from Sarr on the way out. Sarr trying to mix it now with Kagbo. Good stiff jab from Kagbo. Ducks under the, the high kick from Saar. And again, Kargbo so hard to hit cleanly. But a good leg kick from Saar. Kargbo blocks the others. And again, nice leg work from Saar. It's the hands he's been worried about. Saar knows he's got a mountain to climb, so he's coming forward constantly now. Good knee from Saar, but the right hand from Kargbo as he comes in. It was the timing. And once more, Saar finds himself on the dick. In each of the three rounds, he looks and says, if to say it's the hands, the hands have been the difference in this fight. And in each of the rounds, a defining punch has given Mo Kagbo the count. Saar, really good technique with his legs, but it's not been enough when he's been caught by the hands of Mo Kagbo. And again, Kagbo ducks under the punches of David Saar. Just looks for that one moment with his hands. Good punches to the body and head from Saar, but it's certainly not going to be enough in this fight because of the knockdowns in each of the rounds. And again, Kargbo lands with the right and wobbles his man. Each time he lands cleanly, Saar's in trouble. The way they go again, Saar's been resilient and managed to stay on his feet. But obviously he shakes his head, it's a big win for Mo Kargbo because of the knockdown in each of the three rounds.